Hello, welcome pen friends. My name is Chris and I'm back with another uh, pen video or pen related video because today I'm going to talk again about Traveler's Notebooks and uh, it's it's my newest you know sub hobby of fountain pens and I'm just really really enjoying them. In fact uh, right off the bat first I need to say thank you because four out of the eight tra Traveler Notebooks that I'm going to show you today have been gifted to me by generous pen friends, pen pals, and, and I just thank you so much. You know who you are. Got someone in Florida and someone in California that's been just so generous, um, and I appreciate it so much. And I've also been making some myself, trying to sew and make some, but this has been quite a fun exploration, and I just wanted to share it with you so far. Um, I, I want... I. I know this won't be it for me because I'm still uh, pulled out more material today to see what I could come up with to make because the longer I work with Traveler's Notebooks, the more uses that I see, the more excited I get about it. So I'm going to show you each one just briefly and then I'll show you the full setup in two of them, these two right here. Because this is my new ink journal and this is my uh, food journal. So if I go past those really quickly, that's why I'm going to kind of focus on those. Um, let's see. I guess we could start at the beginning. This is um, one that I can't actually open because it's all my Inco Rimo um, addresses. It's a pen pal addresses and notes that would give away too much. But what I've got is a place I can slip the... the uh, letters I need to reply to and I have two right now and then in the folder I have like stamps and I have uh, index cards with addresses and then I make notes about you know when I received a letter and when it uh, when I replied back and I leave little check boxes and everything but I have so many addresses I just can't get into that this one now, I know I've said that before because this this was my first one and I paid five dollars at Michael's because I had a 50% uh, off coupon and I've really enjoyed it. It's a it's a faux leather, so it's not really really sturdy, but it's been really nice for me, and it, it taught me that that this system is one I really love. It organized me so well for the pen pal, and you know it's it's human error if I forget to log in, you know when I sent a letter or something. <laughs> so it's but I um, getting in the habit of doing that, I stay more organized. So that's the first one, and then. Um, I don't know that I can stick in, in, in definite order there, but, uh, well, next I did make this one. Um, I wasn't really, really happy with this one. This we can look in. This, um, it was made with a, uh, poster board as the insert cardboard, so it isn't too sturdy. It's a little flimsy, and it also, my dimensions were a little off for what I really wanted. What I was doing was... Um, originally I was going to put my bullet journal in this, but now I have my bullet journal in another one that I'll show you. And uh, so this book that I'm reading and the notes that I want to take are going to go in this Life uh, Pistachio that I got in one of the ink flight boxes. So this is, this is still really practical and there may be a book that fills it up better you know so that it wouldn't feel quite so flimsy but I did learn on this one I learned how to put the grommets in and how to string the traveler's notebook which you know real basic stuff but that got me started so um, it's still really really exciting but I've, I'll show you I found something better for the insert um, and I just finished one today. I've made several that I've given out already as little gifts, so. Um, but I guess we'll go next with this one. This one is um, the first one that I purchased except for the one from Michael's. And I got, a, um, this is my only Chick Sparrow that I purchased anyway. I was gifted one, but. Um, so I love this. This is the... Um, pocket size regular it's it's not extra big or anything and I've got uh, oh I love this um, little uh, oh zipper pouch and I like I kind of sentimental about coins so I have coins everywhere and then this is my new gratitude I decided to when I filled up my last gratitude journal I decided to move into this and so this is brand new. I've only got like, and I've got it taped shut because, you know, names and, you know, all kinds of neat things that I'm gra grateful for. But anyway, and then a little savings that I was, you know, logging in the back. And then this is going to be notes, um, but it's just brand new to me. And then this is my very first uh, log and jotter, which I'll talk about at another time. I, I'm going to do a separate video on that. 
and then I just have my Twisby Mini here because it, it goes on there really nicely. And I like the pen loop. I, I understand she's making them a little different now, but I like both ways, you know, either this. It fits right in there any way you want to do it. So I really love this. And I caught it on their spring sale. Um, it might not have been, this is the Pemberley English Rose. Um, and I love it. I choose pink quite often for things, but I was, I really sort of more of a brown or black person for leathers, but I thought, well, I'm getting such a bargain on it. I'm going to go ahead and get it. And it was, it was my Mother's Day present to myself. So it wasn't even really pen allowance, but okay. So that's that one. And then, um, and the, these four were gifted. So I guess I'll go ahead and do this one. I just did today or finished today. Um, I had trouble with it, so I just laid the material down. I, I said, oh, don't don't keep going, because when you're you're trying to sew and you're not quite in the right mood, just just don't do it. <laughs> That's just note to self, I've learned. But this is the first one that I did with a, um, with the Pelham uh, double-sided fusible, um, oh, I don't know what you'd call it. It's it's just double-sided, fusible, and I saw several videos about it, and it, it does give quite a bit more uh, feel to it. It's thicker than just a flimsy cardboard, and you've ironed it on both sides, so it's really nice, but it's my first one, so I'm seeing some stuff I don't really like here, and, you know, I'm picky and everything, but again, uh, the, the grommets written in real easy, and the stringing was good, and this is my bullet journal, so again, I can't get into that either really at this time because I don't have it tagged but I'm just about to finish this one and go into another one um this will give me a, an entire year plus some because I found a few extra pages at the end and I decided to keep going and start my new um berry colored book uh, July 1st but so making them gives me extra you know that I because I could never afford to purchase you know <laughs> the ones that that I love so much but that brings me to the total synchronicity and, and awesomeness of uh, these ones that were gifted to me. Um, Pen Pal in Florida gifted me these two, and uh, just out of the blue, and it's just so lovely. In fact, this I'm going to go through completely, so we won't um, we won't open that yet because that's one that I want to show you the setup. Um, but this other one is the it's the Traveler's Notebook, and it's I think it's called Olive. It's just gorgeous, and I haven't started in here yet, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do with this one. I have this old book, uh, Book Reader's Notebook, and it, it's it's a mess. It's um, not that it's completely filled up, but I just had a, it was a mess, like um, me trying to figure out where to put things, and I didn't have separate places for, like, say, books I've read, um, books I want to read, wish list, and that's where this comes in so handy because you can, I've already put, um, it came with two inserts and it came with a folder, so it has this insert here with the lines, and then it had the folder already in it, and I was so excited about that, and so, um, so that was already in it, and then I just added a little band and put in a, a, a thinner, Traveler's Company one that I got from Goulet Pens when I made a small order. I added that to the order and I just used a rubber band for right now. But I know I can use um, some of my elastic. I got some elastic from Hobby Lobby. If, this, if the rubber band doesn't hold up. But what I plan to do is turn this into a, a, a good um, book reader's notebook more or less. And I could take it, leave it right in my library book. Uh, not book. Uh, <laughs> It's like a tote bag that I take to the library, and that way I'll always know kind of where it is, and I can continue to add in books that I want to read. I mean, I get all kinds of stuff um, that I cut out, like, or my mom sends me and stuff, and I think that with the pockets and with places that I can washi tape stuff in, this is going to be really great, and look for me to do something in the future. I'd like to share what I come up with with you in the future, but for now, I, it's just a really nice plan. And then the other one that that uh, is going to be talked about. So, okay, we'll leave those two for last. And then this is uh, my pen friend from California sent me this one um, and this one. So I, um, we don't know what the uh, where it's from. She, I don't think she could remember. But what I did was I decided it was her idea that I didn't realize how a book could go in these like this so easily. I hadn't thought of it. 
And so this is the book that I'm reading with um, Boho Berry Book Club for the month of June, uh, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. And then this is uh, going to be for my notes, and I put in my reading tracker that was a free printable from Boho Berry. Um, I have not, I've read part of this book already, and then I've restarted it because I need to, and that's going to be nice for this weekend. But this will protect the book, and it'll keep me... Um, organized with it and it just <laughs> I'm so excited about it I really am and it's just a gorgeous piece of leather I wish you could smell it <laughs> it's just really pretty and I'm just so appreciative I these aren't you know really in my price range at all but to to just be gifted I'm like I'm so so excited about that whoops oh my goodness there goes something okay so these are the two I wanted to really delve into um Let's start with this one. I moved all my ink journal stuff into this one. And so what I have is my currently inked that is almost full. So I'm right up to uh, you know, a pen that I inked up on the 11th there. And I have uh, kind of uh, clipped in here the the blotter paper. So it's always there for me. Because it drives me crazy if I don't have that. So I've got that there. And then this one I started... Oh, I guess that's a little piece of blotter paper. I started this just for the heck of it, but I plan to do more than just this kind of thing. Um, it'll be so handy, I can just get in here. And this is a Fabriano. Come to think of it, this was also from a giveaway. So, I mean, talk about blessed. I've been so blessed. But uh, I thought that by doing this video, I might give you all some ideas. It might give you inspiration or, or um, you know, kind of a idea or even if you were on the fence about using traveler's notebooks it might give you a chance to see um, w some of the ways that I enjoy using them already and I'm so new to this um, it was February when I started so I have my new currently inked already ready to go because I'm it's just really soon that I'll be changing over and I'll move the blank one to the front and I'll keep that archived one in here because this is a wealth of information for me all of the pens and the different inks that I have used, I have the swatches, and I I just like looking at them anyway. But for referral, that's, uh, gosh, that's July of 2017. So it's looking to me like I may make it a whole year with one of these, which is kind of interesting to me. And there's all kinds of other things I can do. I'm just getting started. This is a UB, one from Target, where you can get three for $3.00. Um, and then my pen. My and This has a nice uh, pen loop. It has places to put things. I tend to like these tags, so I stuck them in here for right now. And this, oh yeah, this came, I ordered a nib from Pen Chalet. That was my first order, and they've given me a coupon. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. It ends June 30th, though, and with the budget I'm on right now, I, I don't know <laughs> if I'll be able to use that. I don't think so. But it's there and I can recycle it after it's too late but so that's that one and then this one this is the one I've been working in the longest this is a passport size and uh, it's from Traveler's Notebook which took over from Midori uh, Traveler's Notebooks I is what I learned and it's in the brown and what I'm doing with this I again I like to have coins that, that I collect and Sentimental. This is a Overeaters Anonymous Serenity coin. It's kind of nice to have in here because this is my food journal. So what I've got in here are a couple of things that really inspire me. This is a hunger scale. This is really cool. This helps you um, kind of determine before you eat where you're at in hunger and it helps you be really mindful and decide, um, you know, am I starving, ready to just die or, and usually with me, I'm at like a three. I'm not usually, if I let it go too long, I'll shake. And then next thing that happens is I'll get a headache. So anyway, the hunger scale is something I've been encouraged to use and I do use it. And then these are the eating guidelines from Women, Food, and God. A book that is just fabulous um, that I discovered with a, a group that was reading it locally. And I, it was really good. So th those help me. So I, I need everything I can get. Because sometimes, you know, <laughs> it's hard. So I've just been writing in there and um, using the blotter thing. I can use whatever pens I want because this is a a little traveler's notebook. It, the fountain pens are real friendly with it. And then I stuck in a, just for today, Overeaters Anonymous. 
a pamphlet. I've got some good materials from them. They're really good. I just don't go to group anymore. And then, let's see, this is one I made. It may have turned up in another video. It's it's a, like a scrapbook paper glued onto some more uh, paper cardstock so that it would um, be strong enough. And then it's Mod Podged on the outside. And then I just cut some of that old... Uh, uh, graph paper and I was thinking about recipes or ideas for healthy snacks anything to help me be really mindful of the changes that I want to make you know I'm not sick and I don't want to become sick and so I'm really trying to work on this so this is nice I like this small small size for it because it goes in my purse and it, it can go everywhere and uh, then I remember to write things down and so far I've been really good at it because I put it right over where I eat and I take it with me everywhere. So that's been really good. This is the um, uh, Wingsung 3008 that it's my pen of the day. And I, I did put a Lamy fine nib on it and I put uh, Karen Dash um, uh, Divine Pink ink in it that was gifted to me that well uh, from a pen pal that we do exchange back and forth uh, pen things it's so much fun and she's from here in Texas so <laughs> when I look around at my things it's like oh my goodness it's like I I'm reminded of my pen friends and and uh, feel like uh, my collection and my things are, are so enriched by all of the it's not even trading really it's just you know giving to each other and it's so much fun so but the traveler's notebooks have been just uh it did, amazed me because I didn't have a lot of interest at first but I realized I was already using insert type notebooks and what better way to kind of keep organized than to have each subject sort of you know put in there and you know I'm not really good at it yet. I could probably combine things. I could probably have um, more of the creative things together. And then um, I had I had some other ideas like, gosh, I was going to do one for crystals, one for sh the chakra study, maybe roll that into one, one large one. And then I wanted to make some more of the A5 ones because... I've got other no books I'm studying, believe it or not. <laughs> I think I may overstudy at times. but And then this is a map. This map underneath here is a Vermont state map. So let me see if I can move it up to where I come from. It's kind of like way up on the border. Way up on the border of Canada and Vermont is where I come from. So I thought, <laughs> ooh, this is my favorite map anyway. Because I go to the airport and then I drive up there. So... <laughs> Anyway, um, that I think is everything, but I tend to kind of forget all about my notes. Yeah, so I was just going to say that I feel like, you know, this this kind of thing, the traveler's notebooks and the little notebooks and, and making these things, it's all part of the hobby for me. So I know there's a lot to learn and everything, but I try to approach it more as fun and... Um, you know, really savoring the experience. And so when I ran into trouble with the sewing, I just put it up. I thought, okay, this is supposed to be fun. If it's not fun today, then I'm putting it away because I really want to remember that I don't need to know it all and I don't need to be perfect the first, you know, like I, I could, we can just enjoy these hobbies and uh, learn and share with each other. And uh, that's, that's what I, how I want the emphasis to be, to discover and learn and take my time and stuff. So... Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm talking and talking here. But the, the crystal I want to do, I have this vague feeling I may have done it before. But for some reason, this crystal was really calling to me today. So I'm going to talk about it anyway. This is the Moonstone with Tourmaline in it. And I've showed you before, I know for sure, the Tourmaline by itself in the raw form. This is not polished. If it was polished, it would look more like Black Obsidian. It would be really shiny and... And smooth and then this is a a black moonstone not a white moonstone so that doesn't really help but you know it what it is is this one is a combination so the thing that I thought was interesting is it says it has a rare energy that's both grounding and uplifting and I think we could all really use that um, I loved how it said the white part the white moonstone has a gentle feminine energy and the black tourmaline has a strong masculine energy so there, there we have it. 
the yin and the yang, you know, together they have an exceptionally calm and balanced vibration that helps us quickly settle into a heart-centered way of being. It reminds us that we all have both feminine and masculine traits, and by honoring both sides, we become our highest self. Black, uh, Moonstone Tourmaline helps us let go of negative emotions, beliefs, and memories, and to confidently take ownership of our life. It helps us feel safe and to trust everything will come to pass as it should. Moonstone Tourmaline has a very patient and relaxing energy, helping us to go with the flow and not try to rush or force anything before it's time. Well, isn't that interesting? Because I'll tell you, when I was working on this one, I thought it was going to end up in the trash. Uh, it just didn't seem like... And, you know, I can see all, a lot of imperfections, which I'm not going to point out because you can see them yourself. But, like, I, I realized that my attitude just wasn't right and it wasn't coming together. But uh, there's plenty of other things to do. <laughs> so I just laid it there and I, I made myself not touch this project until I could you know, approach it again and see whether it could be salvaged. And it's not trash. It's now covering my bullet journal. So anyway, I think that's it for today. But uh, thank you all very much for being here. I just wanted to say that we're kind of toggling back and forth between, you know, below 500 and then 500 and a little bit above and then below, which is normal. So we'll just hold off on the party till we're sure we <laughs> sure of it. But I'm excited and uh, very, very happy. And, uh, oh, there was something very specific I was going to say about that, but, but now I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I, I, I wrote down in my notes and everything, um, not, you know, everybody doesn't have to, uh, subscribe and they don't have to comment and they don't have to press like, you know, those are all things that actually take effort and, uh, you know, deliberate action. So, uh, I'm totally very appreciative when people do because this is the main thing for me if I know that people like the videos then I'm more likely to keep going at it you know or, or that there's interest or even that there's a question that somebody might have you know or a comment it makes me realize that it's um you know it's of interest or there's a, a conversation to have so anyway that's all for today and thank you very much for being here and for watching bye for now